Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Turi and I am a registered behavior technician in the state of Florida. Today is a highly requested video for all of my nosy subscribers out there. Love you. I really do. <laughs> um, I asked you guys on Instagram on my story if you would be interested in seeing what is inside my RBT bag. This is my tote bag that I take with me every single day. Let me see if I can show it to you. Hold on. Bingo. Here you go. All right, anyway, so um, I took a poll. The majority of you, 99% of you, in fact, are nosy. So if you are interested, um, please keep on watching. Do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, comment. I love hearing from you guys, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Alrighty folks, so I hope you um, enjoy the change of scenery. I needed more space, so we are now in my living room. <laughs> okay, super simple. This is a Melissa and Doug uh, coloring book. I love these coloring books. They're big and they're, um, they're not overwhelming, like the color. You can easily help your kiddo color these guys and, uh, and be done with it. Uh, it comes with like 52, I think. Yeah, 50 pictures. So this is a, a good thing to use for work. Um, reinforcement, whatever, whatever their mood is, right? This is super cool, guys. This is something that I've recently just discovered. Um, also, Melissa and Doug, it's um, called Seek and Find. Just so you guys know, so my client is a boy. He's just turned five, and he loves anything. He adores anything that has to do with animals, underwater animals, land animals. So I found this. I thought this would be perfect for him. So basically, it comes with like different sticker pads, like a lot of them and they, there's like different scenes. So this one would be like underwater wonderland, wild animal safari, uh, for example. So then you flip to the first page here. Okay, here's underwater um, wonderland. So now the kiddo's expected to look at their stickers and find that animal or seaweed in this case and match it to the picture. It looks exactly the same. So it's matching, which is fabulous. And something that they can, I can use, I use it for work you know like i need him to sit down and complete this task i might give him a set amount of time to have him finish this and um and it's something fun to do it's not just like writing your name like over and over and over again some, some kind of work like that it's fun work okay we want to get to their level their kids having fun is the motto here so this is a good good thing to use this is scissor skills. This is such a cool activity to do with them. And it's fun and easy. Oops. It comes with like these cute little drawings. And uh, this is a pretty easy one if you see here. And all you have to do, have your kiddo do is cut. And it does come with some scissors, like the plastic scissors that you can't cut anything with, which is what I use with him because he does like to try and cut his hair off. So we go with the plastic scissors. He can't cut anything with that super safe. It's just like working on your scissor skills and finishing a task and completing it. Guys, this all looks easy and fun, but let me tell you, there are many times where they don't want to do any of this stuff, you know? So it doesn't look like work probably from, you know, your standpoint or even from my standpoint, like this isn't work. No, it is work, especially when you're the one telling them that they have to do it. It's like even more work. It's not like them doing it out of free will because they can or they want to. It's like, all right, this is what we're doing now, buddy, you know? So it is work, regardless of what it may look like right now. <laughs> so I also keep a lot of sand, guys. I have like so many variations of sand because they love it. They're kids and this is fun stuff. I play with it too, not gonna lie. <laughs> it's really it's fun, it's soothing. Uh, this is a fluffy sand slime. So this is one variation that I have. This one, I love this one. It goes bad kind of within a few weeks, so it's like eh, but I love it when it's, you know, not bad. Is there a hair? Sorry. It's like half sand, half slime. Best of both worlds. Let's see what else I have. Okay, here's another variation of sand I have. This guy is a good one. This is the least messy sand that I've found. I feel like this is a sand review, but it's it stays together, it stays put, so it's not so messy, like it's not sand all over the place. It's ridiculous. So all of these things, guys, obviously are like reinforced. I use them as reinforcers. If you find a way to use it as work, that's, that's true. Some paint. We do painting. That's another thing, like trying to get them to paint and finish a whole entire paper. One of those um, Melissa and Doug papers. 
that's work, you know? If they don't wanna do it by themselves, if they don't wanna finish it, and you have them finish it, it's work, and the behaviors will start coming out. That I guarantee. Up next, I have, all right, I don't know if I said this already. I'm gonna try to leave links to all of these things in the description box. I don't know if it's off from Amazon. Some of it is, some of it isn't. If I can't find it, I'll try to find something similar. But these bags are, so far, so good. I've had them for a couple months and I find no problem with them. Guys, you know, if you are like me and you, you know, kind of develop a problem, <laughs> problem as far as like buying um, toys and like activities for you and your kiddo to do, you are going to find yourself with a lot of boxes, okay? Recently, I decided that I was hoarding just a little bit too, not hoarding, I looked like a hoarder, okay? My room has turned into just like toys, like toy city, like too many toys. And it was kind of taking over. So I had decided finally this past weekend to take the boxes and throw them away, okay? Yes, I said it, throw them away because it just takes up too much space, too much space and you don't need it. So these bags that I found on Amazon are a really good way to save a bunch of space, um, not only in your room, in your life, but in your bag too. It saves you so much space. As far as weight too, it's just, it's just the way to go. Anyways, so in this bag, I have just like, like molds, I guess you'd call it, for the sand. So just for them to play with um, on their break once they earn it after they, after they work. All right, for smaller items, I've also found these cute little bags that keeps everything organized and in one place. So like I said before, he loves animals, anything that has to do with animals. So I just bought a bunch of little plastic, ooh, like figurine animals for him that he can work for if you would like to. Also, side note, always keep your bag and your reinforcers. This is the coolest bag to them, all right? You take it with you every day and you bring it with you every day or however often you see them. You do not want them to have easy access to this bag because if you turn around for a second and they grab something, you know, that they could have worked for, well, there goes that item, you know, and you have to try and get it back and you know how it is. Keep an eye on the bag, keep it close to you, protect the bag at all costs. <laughs> all right, next up I have you know, I was actually looking for this today and it's been there all day, so that's nice, Anna. All right, guys, this is my schedule. So what's cool is that um, my client, we work in his room and his mom put up a whiteboard. So it's magnetic, obviously, like right in front of our table that we work on. And I'm able to put like a visual schedule for him so that he can see what it is that we're going to be working on that day. And he loves it guys, he really loves it. If you haven't tried a visual schedule before, you know, your kiddo, you can definitely try it. I personally thought like it wouldn't really work for him. And then my analyst, you know, said like, let's do it. Let's try. I'm like, all right, I'll try, but I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. Oh my gosh. He loves it. He refers to it all the time. And I can also use it, you know, when he wants to stop working, I remind him, I can look at it and like, let's look at what we're working for. Like, Okay, for example, first we have to work. I do that a lot, work. And then you can get the tablet or whatever it is that he wants. And that is just so nice to have something to refer back to for both of us. <laughs> it saves my life. Um, and it also reassures him that it's coming as soon as we finish. Okay, my client's mom also went to Shutterfly and like custom, like custom made magnet, which is a super cool idea if you can do this, is you'd like have the parent like take pictures of like the kiddo doing the activity and use that on your activity schedule. So she took one of me and another RBT, right? So here I am saying bye. <laughs> this is like when I go, when I leave so that he knows that it's time for me to leave. And also she has like pictures of him working, pictures of him playing with his siblings. So like when it's playtime, super good idea. And he sees it, oh, picture of him eating lunch. So he knows when it's time to eat lunch, but I can also use this, these ones, I use this one a lot, tablet. So you can work for the tablet for a few minutes and then like crafts, work. It says homework, he can't read, so it doesn't matter what it says as long as he's looking at the picture. Bubbles, he works for bubbles sometimes, so that's one. This one, break time. <laughs> Playing. And my favorite, lunch. So there we go. It's definitely like something that I have to bring every day. Today, I 
thought I couldn't find it. I thought I had it in here. I couldn't find it. And all day he was like looking at the board trying to see like where we were at or like reassure himself and it wasn't there. And I'm just like, oh gosh, I forgot it. So super important for me. This visual schedule is very important for me. Next little bag I have these little trucks. These are super cute. They're so cute and they're little. There's a bunch of them. Excavator. He loves excavators too. I use this, I pair this with like the sand to make it look like he's doing construction. <laughs> so that's something else that he does. All right, now these guys are cool too. It's a timer, sand timer. So this one's 10 minutes and then this one is three minutes. So I use this with him too. You know, take everything I'm saying here guys with a grain of salt. No two kiddos are the same. Some of some kiddos can handle these, some can't. Uh, you know your kiddo, so hopefully I'm just giving you ideas here. But this is cool. So sometimes when I don't want to use like my my phone timer, which is what I usually use the mouse timer that I've showed you guys before, I do use this in between. And he, you know, he can handle it. He can watch it, and he can see when his how much time he has left until break time's over and it's time for us to get back to work. Up next, I have. These are land animals, I have options. You know, I work with him, what do you want? You want land or you want sea? <laughs> what, are you, what kind of animals are you feeling right now? So this is just another bag of animals. Paint sticks, I've talked about this before. Paint sticks are just a better way to color than here. He's so cute too, he like checks every little bag to see like what's in there when I'm not paying attention and I'm not guarding my bag. He like gets in there and he's like, boop. And then I come and I take away stuff. Sorry, buddy. Gotta work for it. Okay, I have some cards in here. Self-explanatory. Dollar store is a whole bunch of cards there. This is cool. This is something new, too. Uh, these are just like magnets that you can build or just play with. Reinforcement for sure. Okay, I also have, um, this is pretty cool. I got it on Amazon. It's a little messy. I don't, I don't really like to reach for it too much because it's just like, they're like little rocks. So it's really cute with the trucks, like the construction trucks. They're super, it's cute, it goes together. That's why I bought it. But it's just a little bit, before you couldn't handle it. I think he can handle it now. It, you know, when the behaviors come up, it would just kind of go all over the place and I kind of try not to use it, but I think he can handle it now. But it's just like slimy rocks, basically. These have saved my life multiple, multiple times. Now, this is a great way to transition. So like when you leave, you take all of your things with you, okay? Like I said before, like these are these are cool things that you're taking with them that they don't have, they don't have um, for them. So a good way to kind of like, I'll just tell you how I do it. So they have something cool they really like. So I tell them, okay, can I have whatever it is? And they're like, the iPad. Sometimes it's the iPad, can I have the iPad? And they're like, no. I'm like, oh. So I go into this, these guys and I'm like, oh, do you want a tattoo? And they're like, Oh yeah, I want a tattoo. And of course, my client's mom is super cool with tattoos, does not care at all. I can put, she's like, tell me to put them all up in his arms. She does not care. So I asked for permission, obviously, but she's cool with it. So I asked him, I said, do you want a tattoo? And he's like, oh, his eyes just go big. He's like, yes. And I'm like, okay, give me the iPad. Gives, I get the iPad, I put everything away, I'm cleaned up. And this is just a good way to transition into leaving, right? Without having like a tantrum because of a tangible that you're taking, which happens. So think of things like this. Maybe the parents aren't, aren't cool with the tattoos. That's fine. Stickers are another way to do that. Stamps, um, just little things like that, the things that you can leave with them, like little, tiny, like this big. So that's what I do anyways. Not every day. Some, some days I can just leave with no problem, but those days I, I know where it's like, okay, I need to offer them something. I offer them the tattoos. Timer, of course, we need timers. Oops, do I Yes. Counting frequency, I have two of these. So it could be for like different behaviors, of course. Self-explanatory. Now let me show you what I have in the bag that I carry, like kind of like my purse, it's like my work purse. It's not a cute purse, it's my work purse. So let's see what I keep in here. Okay, always in my bag, in this bag, is the iPad, okay? This, guys, oh, it's like gold to me. I struggled for so long trying to find something. Every kid's different, okay? My my girl clients, I don't use iPad. There's no need to use iPad for them. They, they're cool with just playing. And that's like, you know, I think it's preferable to have them playing and not like on a tablet, like staring at a screen, but every kid is different. So my 
kiddo, my boy kiddo, it was just like almost impossible to find something reinforcing for him more than like, he would be into it for like one time, like two minutes and then he'd be done with it and he wouldn't want to work for it anymore. So when I finally bought my iPad one day and I like gave him like a little game on the iPad, oh my gosh, how hard he would work for it. You know, I'm at that point now where I'm trying to fade it out. I don't want him to be on it for as long. I have him working more and I have him um, on the iPad less. So it's, you, you know, you have to be careful with it. You don't want to give it to them too much. I never try to give it to him too much. I would prefer to have him play with toys instead, but hey, if it's working for me and if he's learning and if the data is looking good, I, I'm using it, you know? His parents, obviously they know that I use it. So what I'm doing right now is when I'm working like the DVT with him, like the tacting, like the, the writing, the boring stuff for him, so if it's a hard task, okay, an unpreferred task, you want to use the most reinfor reinforcing item, and that's this this guy. Well, let's see what else I have in here. Okay. Obviously, a mask. People have asked me this before. Do I wear masks during session? Yes, I wear it all session. It's uncomfortable. It's annoying, but it is what it is, and I just have to wear it, so I wear it. Bubbles, also a great reinforcer. Guys, highly recommend these bubbles. Okay, they look just like this. I find them at Walgreens, and it comes in like a pack of three and they're a dollar. Yeah, they're like a, they're like a dollar. The best bubbles, should I just show you? <laughs> Let me show you. There I go. Yeah. Oh, wow, beautiful effect. Do you see that? Beautiful. I don't have to say anything else. I have a portable charger. This is a good one. I found it on Amazon, inexpensive, and it's and it's good and it's sturdy. I am now, guys, finally, I am taking data like on my phone, the uh, on that catalyst it's called. For those of you that have seen my other videos, you know that I used to do like my paperwork old school and it's all on paper, but thank you, God, because I am now um, taking data on my phone. Only downside to that is, that it does kill my battery and I want to make sure that I have battery for both of my cases throughout the whole day. So I bought this guy to make sure that I have enough battery to get through my day. Also, keep with me, one of my favorite parts. So this here, is just looks like a regular binder. It's not folks. So look at this. All right, first thing, you open it up. I have my tacks. These are the ones that we're working on right now. And I also keep my first then, right? So what does it say here? First morning work and then bubbles. And I also keep token board. I'm working for a break. Um, and then I have just like other little things that you can put there, right? So that's like the first I have here. These are just other PDF that I've printed out. I use all of this for work. Okay, these are tacks or matching. Okay, this next one is super cute too. Guys, I like create them kind of like, I don't go to the store and like buy them like this. You you buy the PDFs and then you cut them out and you, you laminate them, you cut them out, you put the uh, the Velcro on there. But this is um, a matching. So you'll have this and you'll have to match it. And you can also see like what they eat and they're what we feed and all of these things. So this is super cute and a great way to have him working again. So this is a pig, chicken, horse, sheep. And they have like little sentences at the bottom too, which is which is nice. He can't read, but he does enjoy when I read to him and he does learn and he understands. So I can read them to him. This, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen me working with this. We've been using a lot lately. It's teaching, you know, he, she, and they. So this is super cool. Again, I printed this out. I got the, the Velcro and I put those baby on there. And so he works. I take these all off and I have him find boy, girl, um, and they too. We just started doing they, but first I was focusing on boy, boy and girl. So that's something else that we do. You know, easy to, easy to grab, easy to transition. You, want, you guys are gonna become so quick with your transitions and like organized, organized, organized and know where everything is and ready. Sessions can be five hours long, so you better be ready with a lot of activities for you guys to do. And these are some of the things that I do. 
this is another PDF that I found. This is super cute too. This is um, has to do with scissor skills. So I print these out because I know that they like to look at what it is they're making and then they can make it. So, you know, today we did actually the sheep and I helped him with it. He asked me for help with the cutting and that was fine. I helped him and then the gluing and then the coloring of it. I mean, that's like, that could take you 40 minutes to an hour right there, depending on, you know, where they are in terms of cutting. So that's another cool thing. I have many of them. I have like a crown, jellyfish, spider, all that. So the idea with this guys is that I want to have, you know, all my PDF activities or any kind of activity that I can fit in here in this folder that I can keep with me and take with me every single day. Okay? The idea is that when I'm ready to switch them out, when he's mastered something or he's getting tired of something or I'm getting tired of something, I can come home and I can come through this bad boy and just quickly take a look at what it is I want to use next. So you can see here. Okay, like let's say I want this guy. Take him out, put put him in the one that I carry in my bag, and then put the ones that I don't want back in here, and I can leave it here. And it's it's organized, it's fast, and it's ready. So that's the point here, guys. Organization is huge within this job. You need to be fast and ready, and like on on your toes at all time. And organization really helps. Let's see here. This used to be in a box. I told you I threw away my boxes. So this was in a box, and I put it in here. This was in a box, put it in here. It's in a box, and I put it in here. So do you see all the space that I'm saving by just combining it into these, into these guys? So it's also good, guys, to keep a little you know, supplies handy, okay? So I have my pencils, um, a highlighter, because I use that in his um, composition book. I'll write whatever I want him to write, and then he can trace it using, you know, with a highlighter. This is to grip, this is a pencil grip the best one that I have found. What else do I have? Expo markers. These are the scissors I was talking about. It came with a Melissa and Duck. Can't cut anything. Imagine if I just cut my hair. No, but it doesn't cut anything, so this is fine. Paint brushes, a pencil sharpener. So you need to be ready. You have to have all of these things here on um, handy. As far as like colors and crayons and, and all that, his mom has it there ready for me, so I don't have to haul that around, thank God. But these little things for sure you want to have um, for yourself. Well guys, I think that is actually all I have for today in this bag. I still have my girl client. I still have her bag that I can share with you guys too. If you are not following me on Instagram, please be sure to do so. I like talking to you guys on there. I share a lot with you on my story, more of my everyday, and it's at behavior underscore works. That's the new one that I made. So please follow me on there. For those of you that are new to the field um, and do not know, I do offer Zoom sessions where I am able to walk you through on all the steps and all the credentialing. Um, the process is pretty extensive and a little confusing, a lot confusing actually. And I do offer those sessions to walk you through it and make the process a total breeze. If you do want to book with me, the link is in the description box. You can also find it on Instagram in my bio as far as like how your session should be set up or you're nervous about your first day, what things should you buy, what things should you bring. I'm here and I can give you that one-on-one -on -one personal assistance for any of you guys that want it, you can get it from me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. There's just so much stuff. I'm so glad that you guys are nosy because I love showing you stuff. So uh, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.